Hi, my sassies. How are you today? I had a great day, and I thought I'd tell you about it. So, go get yourself a beverage and a seat. Come on back, and let's get right into it. Got your beverage? I got mine. Moscato on ice. Pink Moscato on ice. My sister turned me on to that. Yeah, you can thank her. So, today, I got to go see one of the cutest little boys in the world. His name is Gus. And I got him a belly button day gift a while ago. He was supposed to have a birthday party, but then this stupid COVID thing happened. And, well, you know, everything got canceled. Anything that's fun, you can't do. And... You can't have a, ma a party for a little boy with everybody having a mask on. That would probably scare him. So, unfortunately, they had to cancel the party. And I had already gotten his gift. So, I've had his gift here for a little while. And I just figured, it's probably time for him to get the gift. You know, I mean... I'm not getting any enjoyment with it just being here wrapped up. I wanted to see him using it, of course. So, I got a hold of his Nana. And she said today was a good day. So, after she got home from work, I took him over his gift. And I planned on recording things while I was there. But, I was too busy playing with this cutie. So, yeah, I did not do any recording. Not one picture. Nothing. Sorry. And I got to see his new room that his papa's painting that looks like Spongebob's, like, where he lives under the sea. It's got Squidward and Spongebob and Patrick and the pineapple and what Squidward lives in. It's pretty cool. I wanted to record that to show Toby, but... Again, I was too interested in what I was doing, and I didn't record anything. But while I was there, and I was playing with Gus and stuff, we were talking about things, and I was telling my girlfriend Karen, yep, that's her real name, I know, she's going to have to change it with all these Karen things going on, right? But, I was telling her how I've been trying to drink a glass of wine at night to try to help me sleep, it's supposed to be healthy for you anyway. And she gave me a bottle of wine. This is Winking Owl from California Moscato. So I'm going to try that. I got to get myself a can opener. Because, or I mean a bottle opener. A wine bottle opener. Because, yeah, using the screw and the hammer, probably not the best thing to do. But it works. So it's better than not having nothing, right? So I decided on my drive to Karen's house to see Gus, to take him his birthday gift, I would take the long country way. I like to do that because you never know what you might see. And I usually do see something interesting. And Mouth right here, he is spoiled rotten. He thinks that I have to be touching him or petting him all the time. He doesn't understand when I'm making a video. It's my time and it's time for him to be quiet. So, anyway, on my drive there, I seen this lady laying out, or sitting out on a blanket with a small child, maybe a year old, and she had her on her, the child on her lap. I think it was a little girl. And they're waving, so I made sure I waved, you know, and they smiled because I waved at them. And I seen a house that has been decorating their windows with hearts and rainbows. Again, I didn't stop take any pictures. I'm sorry. I did take a picture of the sunset on my way home, which I will include at the end of the video. But... I seen a sign that says no H period A period P period 
hunting. No hap hunting. I don't even know what that means. So, I could be breaking the law and not even knowing it. It was in somebody's yard. I don't know what hap hunting is. Let's see, what else did I see on my way? Oh, yeah. I seen a bird, like a crane, I think, on the water. It must have just had its feet in the water, and it was, like, stretching its wings out. It was so cool. But it was, like, staying right there in the water, and just the wings were showing. And it was flapping its wings, you know. It was kind of beautiful. And... Hmm. I don't think I've seen anything else really on my way there. On my way home, I was watching that sun because it was so beautiful. And I started getting hungry. And I was like, well, I don't know what I got at the house and I'm hungry, so I guess it's McDonald's tonight. It was just like a little bit past 8 o'clock. And there is nothing by me open. Not even the McDonald's that is by me is open. So I had to drive all the way into Lapeer to go get something to eat. And I went to Applebee's. I got me a strawberry pineapple mojito. I think I'm in love with these things. And I need to find out how to make them. And I'm going to have lots of them. I could probably become an alcoholic with these. They are that good. I'm not even lying, y'all. I don't think I've ever had one, but wow. It was really good. And I had cheese sticks. And I had blackened Cajun salmon. Garlic mashed potatoes. And steamed broccoli. And my broccoli was steamed to perfection. Wasn't too crispy. Wasn't all mushy. I didn't even need to ask for, like, butter or ranch or anything. It was, like, perfect. The salmon was about the smallest piece of salmon I've ever seen. But it had an okay taste to it. I mean, the salmon was okay, but it didn't taste very Cajun-y to me. And I had this young man waiting on me. And uh, when he brought me my bill, like he had taken it already, he'd take my card and came back. I asked him, what kind of server do you think you were? Now, mind you, to go in and sit down someplace, they don't have very many tables. So they can't be making a whole lot of money, right? And I remember doing that once in my life. And you count on them tips. And he had a really huge table when I came in that left and they didn't leave him a dime and they left a mess I watched him walk over to that table and with disappointment I heard him say to one of his workers they didn't even leave me anything now so I asked him when he brought me back my bill for my signature what kind of a server do you think you were he says, excuse me? I says, what kind of a server? What kind of a tip would you give yourself? And he says, well, I think I did pretty good. So I gave him $100. He was like, no, no, no. That is way, way too much. And I said, just pay it forward someday. You'll be in a place where you can do this for somebody. And you should. He thanked me and thanked me. I could tell even with his mask on how big his smile was. And I think I made his night. I think he might even peed his pants a little bit. And that makes me feel good to know that I made somebody's day. You know? And I seen like a crap ton of Trump signs and flags. I only seen one for Biden. So I would say that Michigan seems to be a Trump state. My girlfriend Karen asked me if I was a Trump supporter. I'm like, do I got to answer? She goes, well, just are you? I'm like, do I got to answer? She's like, well, just are you? I'm like, do I got to answer? She goes, just tell me. 
I ain't going to tell you what I said. That's in confidence between me and Karen. By the time I left her house, I forgot to tell you, Gus had warmed right up to me. I don't think he would have let me pick him up yet, but we was playing. And we was doing some kind of communicating, but I'm not exactly sure what I was saying to him. Because we was talking in his language, and even though I can do it, I still don't know what it means. And her dogs, they liked me. They didn't try to bite me. But Chucky, he was real boisterous when I was leaving. I think he was missing me. I don't think he wanted me to leave. And she's got two of the biggest cats I think I've ever seen. I'm not even sure if they're real cats. I mean, I didn't know they made cats that big. Her babies, all of them, are very spoiled. Yep. So, that's pretty much how my day went. I talked to my neighbor. I forgot about that. She had a... Uh, um, weight loss surgery. She's looking real good. She's an older lady. She said she would not do it again. It's not for people her age. But she's lost a lot of weight already. So, well, I think that's about it. When I go through and edit this, I'll add some pictures if I got anything. But I didn't really take much today. I was too busy enjoying stuff. You forget to take pictures. When you're in the middle of enjoying yourself, you know, it's hard to remember to do all that. So, until next time, love you, my sassies. Share them smiles. They's free, y'all. They's free. Here's that beautiful sunset I was telling you about. Isn't it magnificent? Wow. If you made it this far... You are awesome, and I'm sending you a big hug right now. Thank you.